I was wrong about Update 9 in Pet Simulator 99, and today we're going to go over all of the reasons why this update is actually really not that bad, and how I think this update will set us in a good direction for the game as a whole. Now let me preface all of this by saying that this update is not perfect and there are still a ton of bugs in the game and a lot of stuff that they did not fix that I did hope they would, but overall comparing this to previous updates, I think this one has a lot of substance and some actual important things that do change the game quite a bit. Remember to join the Discord, link is down in the description below. We are actually giving away a huge golden robber pug right now on the Discord for absolutely free, so make sure you're joined up for that giveaway. And subscribe to the channel for all things Pet Simulator 99. But let's get right into it because this update is actually kind of big. And let me start off with the first thing, probably the number one best thing in this update is the announcement that we are going back to weekly updates for the game. Now this news is absolutely huge for quite a few reasons. If you didn't know, in the past we did have weekly updates for the game, but big games had decided that they would rather do updates that had a lot more substance and that they would rather take a few weeks to make a whole ton of stuff. And then they also promised that they would release 25 new levels in each update. And they have been fulfilling that promise and we have gotten 25 new levels for each update since they've made this change. The first of those reasons being that the game is a lot less stale if we do get some sort of new content update every week, even if it's just something like a few new levels. These changes actually do help the game a lot for retention, and I think this will actually help to bring a lot of the player count back to the game. Because as you guys know, with the previous schedule, at the end of each update, the player count drops pretty dramatically as people just get bored with the game. So going back to weekly updates should keep players coming back to the game every week and we should retain more players which is overall just good for the community as a whole because of course that means more trading for the game and just more overall activity and stuff to do for the game so i'm actually super excited for this weekly update change because this is kind of what we needed and honestly as a content creator this is amazing because we're gonna have at least something to talk about every week because at the end of the update cycles it gets pretty hard to come up with some new content for the game when it seems like you've pretty much done everything now of course since we're going to get weekly updates i assume they're going to change that policy where they said they were going to make 25 new levels for each update because making 25 new levels every single week is pretty ridiculous so i don't think anybody's expecting them to do that but even just getting five new levels would add some new spice to the game because then you're going to get a whole new set of stat pets to invest in as well as just a new area to be doing your final grind in which does spice up the game a little bit as well with weekly updates we also are going to be getting hype eggs every week which does seem pretty crazy to me i'd expect the prices of these hype eggs to go down quite a bit the wrap value of these things has already dropped 2 million since the update has come out but the fact that we are getting weekly updates means that everybody is going to be getting a new hype eggs every week so the prices of these things are going to be extremely cheap soon. But overall, that's probably a good change so we can actually uh, afford to open more of them and potentially get that huge or the Titanic that's in them. Now, the next major thing we should probably talk about with this update is the performance aspect. So as you guys know, Big Games tweeted out like I think a week ago, maybe five days ago, something like that saying that they're pretty much just going to focus on performance for this update. So when I first saw that tweet, I assumed that that meant that they weren't going to have a lot of content in this update, but I was definitely wrong because it did feel like this update had a regular level of content plus all of those performance boosts, which is overall pretty good. And I honestly am kind of a fan of this update. Now that's not really saying a lot because the last few updates were pretty trash. So it's not saying a lot but I am just kind of happy with the state of this update as a whole. But from early impressions of the performance of the game, 
it does seem like they did make a significant amount of difference. Now, I can't totally say that it is super consistent because when I was grinding on my other account, it did seem like I was still getting quite a bit of lag. And at that time, I wasn't even opening eggs or doing anything. And I was just getting lagged out using Super Magnet and all. But after relogging and setting up, I did experience a lot less lag. So I'm sure they are still tweaking it and making sure it is working fine. So I'm going to give them a day before I really analyze if this performance update did help with frames and network connection. Now, something they actually did not end up fixing are those errors that keep disconnecting us from the game, which is pretty significant of an issue. And I know a lot of people were really hoping that they would fix it. And so far, it does not seem like it has been fixed because I have personally got this error quite a bit. And when the update first came out, I actually couldn't play for about 20 minutes or so because I got that error 267. Now I've been told that this error is a Roblox issue and it's not a pet simulator issue, but I've personally never gotten it on any other game. So I'm not sure what to think. So far, that's just my experience. It seems like they did focus on performance, but they didn't really focus on any of the glitches, which is what a lot of people were kind of expecting from this update. But at least from initial observation of the update, it does seem like my game is running a lot smoother and I'm also able to finally grind and open eggs at the same time without completely lagging out on my other account. So props to Big Games for fixing that. I'm sure that will keep a lot more players on the game as they become less frustrated by doing these things and lagging out completely. But again, I'll probably have to wait and see and keep playing for a few days to make sure that there really aren't any performance issues. Now, along with the performance update, we got access to this potato mode, which basically just turns off everything in the game. And I've been using it on all of my accounts now. And early on in the update, it was pretty bugged out and it caused a lot of issues. But I guess if you are running on a phone or a tablet, this potato mode will help you to not lag out and just have a overall better experience on the game. So that's always a positive. Let's keep moving on though, because I am yapping quite a bit and I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. The next cool part of the update though, that I do really like is this new glitch computer event. So if you guys don't know, you can get these glitch cores from grinding as well as you can get them from the tech chest and the secret key area. And with these cores, they are worth a certain amount of points. And when you get enough of them, you can combine them to make one of these glitch gifts. And if you've been playing the game for quite a bit, this is pretty similar to the Christmas event that we had. But in that event, you were able to get smaller gifts and combine them into larger gifts. And that largest gift was able to get you a Titanic, potentially if you opened it. So a lot of people like that because it was basically like a free to play Titanic. So I assume the devs were trying to go for that kind of vibe for this event because people are able to get these glitch cores and they can either combine them for the glitch present or they can just sell them, which is honestly a pretty good way for free to play players to get diamonds. So I'm sure a lot of people do like this, but as it is with the pet simulator community, there is a little bit of controversy about this event. And that's because it is the clan event as well. So the clan event this time around has us making these glitch gifts and whoever creates the most is going to be the winner. So as you can see, Goop, of course, is at the top as they always are. Now, I've seen some of the top clans upset about this, and that's because you can sell these cores. So it's basically going to be whoever can buy the most of these and whoever can spend the most is going to win this event. So basically, if you do pay to win at the game, you could basically just buy your way to a victory in this clan battle. So whoever is able to spend the most or basically just acquire the most cores from outside means. So I guess influencers or YouTubers will have an upper hand in this as well because people will be willing to send them tons of cores so that they could see their favorite influencer win the clan battle. So I have seen quite a bit of people calling for the game to make these untradeable as well as the glitch gifts. Now there is a little bit of an issue with this. I think overall for the betterment, of the people in the game 
it is just good to leave it how it is because I feel like the vast majority of players in the game will be able to benefit from selling these and they can make a quick buck off the top clans as they try to buy as many of these things as possible. So by allowing the lower level players to sell their cores to the higher, richer players, that's basically bringing diamonds from the richer people to the poorer people, which was kind of how it went with the Christmas event. And that's why a lot of people actually liked it because they didn't have to actually open the gifts. They could just sell them and make some good diamonds. And personally, this Christmas gift event was pretty much what got me into the game because when I first started playing, I got super lucky and got a Titanic gift from one of the gingerbread houses. And I was able to sell that thing for like a million diamonds and that's what got me started in the game. And I was able to buy my first exclusive pets. So, so if that event never actually happened in Pet Simulator 99, I probably wouldn't be playing it to this day. And personally, that's why I think they should just keep it the way it is. But I do see the argument from the top level clans. I just think overall for the betterment of the player base, it is good to keep it the way it is. I did forget to mention that there is a global event that when you do break enough breakables, you do get the glitch cores as well. So that's another way to get it. But mainly, I think people are getting them from breakables. But let's go in the trading plaza and talk about some of the trading stuff that's going on. All right, so I guess we didn't actually have to come in here, but it just feels right that when we're talking about the market that we are in the trading plaza. But if we do check the exclusive shot, we will see that we have finally gotten rid of the boss chest mimic as well as the super magnet and the boss lucky block. So we have the three new exclusive enchants. Well, one of them's an exclusive ultimate, but we did know these were coming in and we have talked about them in previous videos. And a few days ago, I did talk about this mini chest fortune, but at the time it was called the mini chest hunter. And for that reason, I thought this was going to be a, another thing like the chest mimic book. But when we did get the leak that they changed the name, it was pretty clear that this book was going to enable better items from the mini chests. So as you guys probably expected this did increase the price of the chest mimic quite a bit as you can see it is currently at 2.4 billion wrap i think it's actually dropping in price now so it's probably going to begin to fall as the hype begins to die down but if we do look at the description it says that mini chests drop two times better items which is extremely good for people that are using the chest mimic book as well as people that use the chest spell. And from my video yesterday, the boss chest mimic has dropped quite a bit in price. I think about 50 million because it was sitting around 370, I believe, when I made that video. And from the time of that video, the super magnet has increased 30 million. So it does seem like the super magnet was a decent investment. As well as my main investment that I did talk about in the video yesterday that I said I was personally investing in were these sketch eggs. Now these things did go up pretty much a million in wrap value, which is not bad, but I do think once the hype dies down for these new exclusive eggs, then we will see the prices of those hike up quite a bit. So I'm personally still holding on to my eggs. But I do think those were a good investment overall. But overall, guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about from this update. Now, of course, that wasn't a crazy amount of content compared to what some people might expect. But I do think they did make some pretty significant changes. The performance boost is definitely a big plus, as well as the announcement of weekly updates is kind of the thing that Pet Simulator did need now and is what I was kind of talking about in my video from last week when I said how important this update was. Now, I didn't even mention going back to weekly updates because I didn't even think they would ever do it. Just by the way they were putting out content in the last few updates, it just didn't seem like they would ever want to go back to weekly updates. But of course, Big Games continues to surprise us. So let me know in the comments section down below whether or not you like this update. And if you did like this update, let me know what your favorite part about it is. Remember to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.